Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I'm ready to go. I was incorrect yesterday, by the way. Today's run is reserve, not factory. I think we want to be in at 6 a.m. And then just send it. Um, I, I'm so much happier with the Tarkov experience now that I have gotten a run in the books. It was the most... Ca you, you can't ask for a more cowardly run, short of literally spawning on factory and turning around and walking out, probably. But uh, at least it isn't a total zero across the board. You know what I mean? So uh, are, we, are we just dropping? Are we just dropping into reserve? No, 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 no. I think I've played reserve once, by the way. I have the map up, and I am 100% confident it's the best map because everything is labeled in the South Park font, which is just, hey, man. I'm not going to tell you how to make your, you know, navigational aids. <laughs> but it's all the the map has like less than 12 things on it, which I love. Because the other ones were like this is crater. This is uh Jimmy's loot box. This is uh the truck that uh crashed into the cement blocks. This one is literally I mean, I there's less than 10 things. It's just scav exits, PMC exits, PMC and scav exits. Let's not count our chickens. Sorry, I just wanted to refresh the webcam a little bit if possible. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously not counting our chickens, but uh, at the very least... Actually, you know what? Give me a little... I'm just going to lower my recording software so I can keep the map up at all times. I don't know anything about this map, to be honest. Um, I mean, you saw my results in episode one, you know? I except for the run we literally just did. We have not exfilled on a single run, which includes any of the time that I played reserve, which is almost never. Maybe one, one to two times in my previous uh, existence. So the exits are... Hole in a wall mountains, <laughs> heating pipe, hermetic door, bunker slash depot, and fence. Sure. I don't know where we spawn. I don't know where uh, the loot is. But on this one, we will not merely sprint towards the exit. We'll try to get our hands dirty a little bit. Mostly because, I mean, again, there's a big difference in my psychology between not having put up a single score and now having put up a single score. Now I'm like, ah, what, dude, whatever happens, happens. Like, I wouldn't even be, uh, I wouldn't be upset if we got killed in like 60 seconds. The way I would look at it is, imagine if in Spelunky, the first three days I died before the jungle. And then day four, I got like a 15,000 gold Olmec kill. <laughs> I, now I'm like, ah, I can breathe a little easier. I don't, I don't care about getting the points, but just accomplishing something. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. I'm prepared. Oh, we got some Discord messages in the in this uh, the group Discord. Oh, I'm telling. I don't want to spoil anything, but I believe Mouth may have me beat yesterday, which makes perfect sense because uh, you know I didn't loot anything. <laughs> I will. I will type to him. I'm guessing you got more than. 22,000 rubles. Then hit him with a joy emoji. That was literally my Comtex gun, scav vest, and ammo. Comtax. Sorry. I still hear crickets, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be starting anytime soon. Now I'm recording Tarkov right now. Anything you'd like to say to the people 
on my end while I'm in an endless queue. Yeah, I type fast and loud, okay? Get over it. He said the reduced scav time sucks hard on some maps. I would I would say that is not for your digestion. I think that's he's just venting. He said Malv says he loves you and I love you too. There you go. I have passed on the message to the masses. He had the opportunity there to to promote his own brand and he opted not to you got to respect that instead he went for the loyalty play he's building community outreach <laughs> i i need to reiterate by the way i am zero percent upset or even emotionally affected by knowing i don't win yesterday which is now today for you um does not matter to me. Just to have gotten a non-zero. Oh, how sweet it is to get rubles too. Today, this provides us the space to maybe try to compete a little. You know? Maybe today we could actually, uh, you know, dig in our heels. Wait 22 minutes to spawn. And then, uh, and then play the game. And, and maybe even not just exfil right away. It can't be worse than a 12-minute wait to get on interchange, right? Right? If we're critiquing the man's outfit, I have the same problem with this outfit that I had with the outfit we critiqued earlier. The balaclava, honestly, I think it makes sense, both for identity obscuring, but also, you know, it might be cold out there. Protects you from the elements. Um, but it's the scav vest that only comes down to like the top of your belly button. Over a coat that is longer. It's just a messy look. Now maybe they're not that worried about aesthetics. I would also say for me personally the fact that the tones are so similar. It, the outfit doesn't look um, aesthetically pleasing. It looks more like... It, it looks like one big rag to be honest, but it's a man that maybe is more concerned with uh, function than form. So his finger, his finger is so long. Are you seeing the, the length of this man's finger? It's like this is like a finger length. Well, maybe a little longer, but it curls all the way around. That's incredible. Look at the length of that thing. Compared to the length of his thumb. Now, your index finger should be longer than your thumb, but something about that doesn't seem right to me. I'm looking at my hands right now. Looking at my drip, looking at your drip. <laughs> so it's been nine minutes, or eight minutes. Um, what's going on on my desk? Check it out. Still got a lot of stuff on the desk here, to be honest. Here is... A grip trainer. Here is um, Bluetooth headphones. Yeah, they're not AirPods. Instead of buying AirPods, I just bought two cheap pairs of Bluetooth headphones. Combined, they equal the battery life of the superior product. What else we got going on here? Great question. Great question. Eva. I mean, you saw last time. La to be honest, maybe this is the lucky loading hat. You put on the Canada toque. And you're good to play some uh, Escape from Tarkov. They dare not make you wait more than another 10 minutes. Like, this is what... It's just... Uh, I'm just Googling now. Tarkov concurrent players. I don't, I don't know if there's any way to know. Because it's not on Steam. Like, there's 50... 
thousand people watching on Twitch right now. You got to imagine if there's fifty thousand people watching on Twitch, there's got to be like. <laughs> I'm not saying an equal amount, but it wouldn't surprise me. Are none of them playing reserve, dude? I've been waiting here for double digit minutes. It's all right. It's all right. So what you do is you go back to Discord and you say, Q is at 10 minutes. Place your bets. How high will it go? And that goes for you too if you're watching. I'm going to say 13 15. Malv says 11 39. Very optimistic. I appreciate it. Much respect, Malf. I mean... While we wait... If you'll excuse me... Could always play a little Tetris 99. Oh! The sound is so cursed! By the way, yes, the last time I played Tetris 99, I won. So, here's what you do, okay? You just, uh... Move this, like, here. Like that. And then you move Tarkov over it. Then you move Tarkov down to, like, a little... Oh, just one second. Just one second. It's, it's, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know what I mean? Move Tarkov down there so we know when we spawn. And then live troubleshooting has never, never bothered me, okay? So you just come down here. You give this a little unplug, replug. That appears to have not fixed it, so just give me a moment. You give it a little unplug, replug. And it should sound like an N64 game now, instead of an NES game. That sounds better, I think. Still matching. Alright, let's do it, boys. <laughs> I haven't played Tetris in probably three weeks. Wish me luck, but... I mean, we're sitting... It's 13 minutes into the video, all I want to do is... Play the game. It's like what League streamers used to do. Play like a Hearthstone match while they're queuing. What can I say? It would be legendary status. It would be legendary status if we managed to get a uh, a Tetris win and a Tarkov win in the same episode. You gotta do. I've been sitting here. What? Are, what am I supposed to do? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Target me, please. So it has. It's been long enough that I'm like. I'm gonna be a little rusty. Okay. I don't know if I'll be super rusty, because I was getting to the point when we last played Tetris, I was feeling very confident just about all of the time that I had a good chance for a victory uh, lined up. Here's what you're going to do, okay? I've screwed it. Just relax. I Yes, I see the T-spin. You know why I see the T-spin? Because I set up the T-spin. We just gotta get things lined up appropriately. Still matching in Tarkov, huh? Screwed it up. Here you go. This is where things start to pop. Not a great start. Not a reassuring start. Not the kind of start that's gonna make anybody go like, oh, he's back. Those KOs, just ancillary. I just noticed we're not even on... Uh, Honestly, give me one of these instead. We're not even on, uh... Uh, Inception mode. <laughs> What's it actually called? <laughs> Invictus! Invictus mode. I don't see a blue bee coming, so we're gonna do this instead. Oh, I can feel it coming back. And I'll level with you. 
It's gonna take a minute here until I get back to full power, but I don't think it's gonna take too long. Put me on attackers, please, briefly, and I, I'm gonna take a little bit of time, just a little bit of time, get myself back where I wanna be here. Then we're gonna start to send them. And oh baby, it feels so good as the matching continues. Keep it going. Keep it going. Feels good to be back. A lot of people have suggested that perhaps uh, Tetris will be a Golden Goblet game in the future. I'm here to tell you, people thought I was being rude when I said this uh, on my solo content. I would not do that to Dan and Mouth. Like, with all due respect to them, they don't stand a chance. And I'm not saying that just to be a, a huge jerk. Dan has one Tetris 99 win, Mouth has zero. I have like 112. It's just not the... It's, what, what does anyone gain out of that? Now you might be saying, what do we gain out of you watching, or you playing uh, Tarkov? Well, <laughs> you gain a little extra Tetris 99 content. So I don't see why you're being such a baby about it. Okay, so we, out of all that, I don't think we got any KOs, which is not very nice. But life goes on. We're going to go back to our two-tile-wide setup as the matching timer has now hit 16 minutes. The red lights don't scare me. Now I'm like, dude, I don't know. It might take us more than one Tetris match, especially if we lose, to actually get to the point. Oh, that's not how you do that, but that's okay. There's a recovery there. To actually get to the point where we can get our Golden Goblin game in. We'll see. No, no, no. Okay. Don't fish too hard for the, the Teddy Spins. I know how to get them. I mean, we got one very early on here. Save that. Save that. Rewind it back. Oh, now we're talking. Please. Go ahead, send me. And then um, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that one in the future. Might look to that as the moment where things started to go a little wrong here. Can't really deny that that one's 100% on me. We're gonna go on randoms briefly. <laughs> It had to, that's bad, but it had to be done. Yeah, we're done. Okay, that's fair. That was just not very good play, to be honest. And here we are at uh, 17 minutes. Um, I, I'm just gonna pop over to the Discord, I suppose. And I will go. So it's been 17 minutes and 40 seconds. Do you just requeue in this situation or what? Let's let's see what the responses are. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that the answer to that question is probably. Do do Tarkov streamers just deal with this? I don't I'm not saying it's unacceptable. I'm just in the dark, I don't know what to do. We'll see when Malf replies. Until then, enjoy the, re the long awaited return of Tetris 99. I'm still fine being on attackers here. Oh, this is. I'm back! Okay. That was not what I meant to do, but I'm still back, in my opinion. Other people may disagree. That's fine. Ooh, you hate to see it. But you don't really hate to see it that. It's more like a, a mild distaste. And that's what we like to see. If we're talking about things we like to see and things we don't like to see. That definitely fits the bill. Things we like to see so we can send a little T-spin. One of those will work just fine. Don't love that. But there is a little T-spin waiting for us here, even though I don't think it accomplishes all that much for us. Sorry, I get distracted, because every once in a while I remember, hey, I'm supposed to be playing a different game right now, and uh, I go look and it says, nah, dude, you're good. And I go, thank you, because <laughs> I'd really like to finish this Tetris game. 
A little surprised to be honest, where it has zero KOs. For me, this has the this has the trappings of a situation where we would expect to be slightly higher. Now we'll get that two tile wide going again. If you're not familiar with any of this terminology, feel free to tell me to stop and uh, I will elucidate as much as is possible about what we're trying to accomplish here. But it's going to be hard because it will require me traveling backwards through time, which right now, I don't. I think we lack the capabilities. I'm not trying to be a downer about it as we cross the 20 minute mark on Escape from Tarkov. I can't believe we're still at zero KOs. Yeah, you, you, you've all got the audacity to just keep attacking me throughout all of this. Clearly, I'm not the one you want, okay? Because I'm not going out in two seconds here. And I think that that has been dully noted. So if you don't mind, please target somebody else for the time being. I'm not interested in the great eating quite yet. And pick on somebody your own size, i.e. someone smaller. Because I'm about to beat you up. We're in! Okay. How much? There's 31 minutes left in the raid. We can we can do this. This is going to be a double Tarkov Tetris match, okay? So what do you do? At least crouch. At least crouch. I hear it popping. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. I've waited here for 20 minutes. Am I a little nervous? Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. Okay. Slightly. I really don't want to get tapped. At the same time... It's not really that big of a deal, considering my odds of having a good Tarkov run to begin with. I just want to make sure I'm building the narrative here, okay? Because this is definitely, for me, not a situation where it's like, Oh, NL was so salty with Tarkov, he, he opted out and started playing Tetris instead. Absolutely not. That's not what you're witnessing. What you are witnessing is a man who's had enough. He's had enough of the loading screens. He's had enough of not T-spinning, okay? It's okay. I see the exit. Not in Tarkov. We may never get to the exit. How sick would it be if I just turned around and knocked somebody right now in, in Tarkov? Not in real life. That would be a little... Okay. Hey, I'm free! You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. You, you brought the heat today. You brought the heat today. There you go. 23 minutes, we're in. It's kind of ironic that the loading screen we just had was longer. Let me rephrase because this is going to be a good one. The loading screen we just had in the, in the game Dan chose was longer than all seven of his Spelunky daily challenges put together. Okay, so we are against a wall. Looking at what I would describe as a bunker. I will tab and look at my map. Oh, we are at hole-in-a-wall mountains. And our X-fills are... Um, south. Okay, so we are not going to be a pure coward. You hear that? <laughs> We're going to try to get some... some actual stuff done today. Not much. <laughs> I do want to see what's in my pockets as well. The hunter is decent. And the backpack is... Well, we have a backpack. It's better than a vest, I suppose. This is South Wall? Oh, no, okay, I know where we are. I don't know if there's anything up here, but we might as well check. 
Because there is stuff over there as well. But we will be going towards perhaps one of these hermetic doors. I don't, we didn't even see the interface to loot last time. And how much time is left on the raid? I hope you can see. There are 27 minutes. Let me make sure my recording software... Yeah, okay. We're good, we're good. I just wanted to make sure that I had not left uh, Tetris as a big window and Tarkov as the small window. So with this gun, I feel like we are best with a little bit of open space. Because it is a, uh, it's a single fire rifle with a sight. Above average for player scav, I think. So I think here we'll turn right. Should be a little bit of open space, but I do want to loot the mayor's house first. There's a crate! Okay. feel like we do not have the bullets for that. But it's a pretty high value get to just pick up a, a pretty decent weapon out of nowhere. So I'm at the train tracks. This to me looks like scav land. On the map. Oh. Player lag. <laughs> Which means this could be an exfil. Yikes, brother. Go ahead, coward. Take your shot. Heartbeat definitely up there. Excuse me, sir. Are you Scavlans? No, 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 no. Maybe? No, no, no. Maybe? Tushanka! Who knows, dude? These MREs might be the difference maker. Pineapple juice. <laughs> Precious materials. Unknown item. Lootable barrels. A mounted gun. And another gun box. Which has already been looted. Which is not unexpected. Uh, you know me. I still want a bop. Even when I was playing Tarkov more reliably, it was never my intention to just walk in, grab some money, and walk out. I like being in the mix. Except last run, of course. Can't sneak out. Okay. <laughs> so I think this... I don't know if this is Scavlands. Okay. You need to bring a PMC to Scavlands. Why is it on my thing then? So we can't exfil here. But if we walk... Just to the right... There's other exfils. Just jumping around like an idiot. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> this is the longest Tarkov video by far. Feeling a little exposed here. But we'll keep looting. Like this is the kind of area I want to be in. I'm saying that because if we get bopped now, it would be perfect timing. It's another weird box. <laughs> it's empty. Which means all the good stuff out of these is probably taken. I mean, to be straight up with you, I don't mind taking the scraps. Yaw! 
No space. Let's go. Let's go. We got a pocket full of tuna, brother. All right, we're <laughs> we're almost full to the gills. Walk as south as possible. I mean, you can say whatever you want about my Tarkov play. This is not cowardice. Like, we're in here. I don't know if anybody else is. <laughs> but we are. So we should be close to... Heating pipe? <laughs> yeah, you appear to be heating pipe. Are you a real box? I don't know. Oh, don't get stuck. That would just be a disaster. I mean, that that could be a heating pipe as far as I know. Now, we don't have access to the heating pipe exit. But near heating pipe should be the bunker's hermetic door. <laughs> I don't know the password to get into the bunker. Probably should not walk right along the pipe either. Especially because it's coated in barbed wire. But, uh... Presumably, I am looking at Armored Train. Which you can indeed exit. If you are a scav. Then forget that, dude. We are not going to go for Hermetic Bunker Door. Keep your head on a swivel. It should be it somewhere in here. But there could be people. Could be people. I'm starting to think there are no people. It's been looted. I mean, are you the exit? Is that the joke? On the man's widow? <laughs> Are you the exit? A guitar! Tom Petty's acoustic guitar. No space. No space for the muzzle break. I don't know, dude. I have no idea how much that's worth. If we're leaving behind a trillion dollars, my philosophy is whatever, dude. Well, I was really hoping one of you would be armored car. <laughs> or armored train, I should say. Um, I think we should try one more time. Because the armored train exit... And I'm still keeping my head on a swivel. Don't, don't panic. No space. It was like in the middle of the warehouses. On the train tracks. Which to me... Is this car? But maybe it's not in a car. Did I? I definitely looted this box on the way in, huh? What? Um, it's a lot of guns. Certainly, none of which we can hold. I think. I can put the tiny gun? <laughs> um, I'm also like... Ah, you know what? Discard a little ammo? <laughs> I don't even know what you are, but... Sure. If that's as good as it gets, that's AK-7, AKM. I don't know what's better here, but... I think we've optimized our loadout slightly. I'm giddy. Can't you tell? <laughs> Hello, my scav friend. 
I have no quarrel with you. Because I'm my pockets are full. So if I were the armored train exit, according to this map, that's another scab. He's walking like a fool. According to this map, I would be right about here. So I think maybe... Maybe I don't know where it is. Unless it could also be this car, but did we not just come from this car? Maybe we came from one car further down. We just came from this car, okay. Relax yourself. There's heating pipe. Over here somewhere should be hermetic bunker door. I don't specifically know where. I mean, those are the bunkers below us. But do you enter from the top? Or the bottom? Or the north or the south? I don't know. We're going towards the south side right now. Do we see our old friend heating pipe? We do. Do there appear to be doors here? I would say no. There were, there were openings on the other side. That's for darn sure. I believe we are too far. <laughs> so I'm assuming we come over the ridge here. We should see Rook Warehouse. Look at that. From Rook Warehouse. This is the second set of bunkers. This is the first set. And it's one of these. Um, let, let's check the top floor first, just because we're here. I don't know if that red light could possibly be a hermetic door. Are you a hermetic door? Are you a... That, that's a hermetic door, brother. Restore power at the generator? What are you talking about? Okay. So, we will go to... The fence, which is on the other side uh, of the map here. Hate that. You hear that? <laughs> Someone shouted. Shouting's okay. NPC scavs shout but will not shoot at us by default. So from Rook Warehouse, should be over here somewhere. I'm still optimistic. It's a long trip. Please, please prepare yourself for that. And I don't know, maybe it'll be like, you didn't bring your box cutters. You can't get out here. Oh no, we're lost in... Takeshi's hedge maze. <laughs> Running through the chicken wire. There we go. <laughs> um, just be careful. Okay, so there's Salami Bunker. It should be just over the ridge from that. You run, if you're on top of the bunker, there should be like a stone fence and then a straight shot to some mountainous areas. It's not stone, but you see what I'm getting at. So you're saying there's a chance. Gotta find a hole in the fence. Please. 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 
please? Could you just take it on the chin, maybe? And walk through the barbed wire? It's gonna cut you up, but that's what the saluas are for. Because now I need to go over there, but how am I supposed to get there? Unless this is... No, I don't think this is the exit. Hello. May I... No. <laughs> oh, dude. Tell us world of science right there. Vancouver boys represent... I saw the corpse. You gotta look. You gotta look. Look, he's... He's, <laughs> he's got his... One... Uh, throw your hands in the sky if you feel the vibe. The body's been picked clean. Okay, so this is North Checkpoint. Straight ahead and on the right here is an exfil. Like maybe right here. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we made it out of reserve. We did absolutely nothing, but we made it out of reserve. Okie dokie. Let's... Ca I think we got a lot of loot, honestly, for a scav run. If This probably doubtlessly is our best chance to win so far. I mean, the first couple of days, we didn't have any... Any score. And uh, yesterday, we know we lost. So, yeah, I would say, from a game theory standpoint... This one was probably our best. So we'll pop this stuff in scav corner. I mean, dude, three guns, two first aid kits, a gun part. Oh, I almost discarded it. That would have been hilarious, at least. I am fairly... I don't want to say confident, but... Uh, Reasonably confident. Oh, take the scabbard as well. Oh, no, 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 no. What did, what did we not bring with us? The Momex. <laughs> okay, okay. So here's, I think I, I think I got an idea as well. I think we can count our money a lot more easily. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough to count it. Two, three, four. When the deed lens done, you got to know when to hold them. Know when to load them. No, and to put them in the the pre-cash queue. Okay, so now we have no money. You can't have this many rubles in your inventory. Okay, so we know that 100,000 rubles. That's just one stack. That's fine. All right, so go to fence. And then all of our money should be in one pile. So if not, please know we're at 100,000 right now. And we got more on our PMC. So we're at 100,000. I mean, there you go. You can see it yourself. We're getting 53,662 rubles. Let me go over to the Discord. And place my score in there so I do not forget it. As we don't have to sell. <laughs> We could just keep the stuff and go on the value, but whatever. It's not like I'm going to be using my PMC too often. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. This is a much better score. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!